LeBron, and he is, you know, our, our highest paid player, but he's still a bargain to me. Wait a minute, did Genie Buzz just say that LeBron is still a bargain to me? The definition of bargain, an agreement between two or more parties as to what each party will do for the other. Okay, honestly, with this definition and what Genie said in the interview, it doesn't really make sense or it doesn't apply. But there's actually a second definition of bargain. Definition number two, a thing bought or offered for sale more cheaply than is usual or expected. LeBron James is the highest paid player on the Los Angeles Lakers and one of the highest paid players in the league. So is Genie saying that LeBron is being paid less than what he deserves. LeBron entered this past summer on a player option and he opted out and re-signed with the Lakers on a two year $104 million deal. And I know $100 million is a lot of money. $104 million is a lot of money. Genie might be stating that LeBron deserves more. Another important thing to know about LeBron's re-signed contract was that Rich Paul, his agent, had to even negotiate giving LeBron less money so the Lakers can stay under the right salary cap. LeBron had to reduce his salary by $1 million to get that contract. And I know it's just $1 million, but it's still a $1 million. When you look at LeBron's contract of two-year $104 million, that divides into $52 million per season. And if you look all over the NBA, even this past summer, NBA players are getting paid more than LeBron per year. Jalen Brown is a standout name that's going to be getting paid more than LeBron James. I know he just came off winning an NBA championship, but Jalen Brown is nowhere the caliber player of LeBron James. Bradley Beal is another name getting paid 53 plus million dollars. And the fact that Bradley Beal is not even the number one option in Phoenix just proves to you that LeBron signing a 52 million dollar deal is truly a bargain. Carl Anthony Towns as well is going to be getting paid more than LeBron James and he's not even the number one option on the Timberwolves anymore. Anthony Edwards is the guy in town. So I just love the respect that the owner of the Lakers are giving LeBron James. They're saying that he deserves more but there's proof of that lebron is coming off the best summer of his career he just won gold in paris for team usa and was even the most valuable player and even though lebron is turning 40 years old this year something we've learned this summer is that if lebron has the perfect surrounding he can still win a championship and to every nba fan out there saying that lebron is washed he's done in the league he's not gonna win anything anymore lebron is playing the best basketball of his career and i'm predicting the same for this upcoming season he's still gonna take the lakers to great heights and statistics show that you need to keep lebron james on the lakers and you need to keep lebron james in the nba he is the oldest player in the league but what he does for the league is incredible thank you seek geek for sponsoring our video nba tickets are now available to purchase and you need to get your cheap tickets on seek geek they tell you the value of the seat you're buying and guess what prices are cheaper than ever before not only can you buy nba game tickets you can buy any sport tickets concert tickets any kind of tickets you need are on SeatGeek. And we partner with them to give Easy Buckets fans a promo code discount. Use my code EASYBUCKETS and you will get $20 off your purchase. Get your cheap tickets on SeatGeek today and use my code to get your cheap tickets even cheaper. The NBA schedule has already been released and the league just announced how many games each team are going to have on national television. And can you guess which team has the most? Number one, the Los Angeles Lakers at 39 games. Number two, the Golden State Warriors at 36 games. Number three and four, the Celtics and the Knicks at 34 games. Number five and six, the Mavericks and the Suns at 30 games. The Nuggets at number seven with 29. Number eight and nine, the Bucks and Philadelphia 76ers at 27. And tied at number 10, the Timberwolves and the Thunder. This is nothing new for the Lakers. The Lakers are the number one most televised national TV team because of LeBron James. When LeBron joined the Lakers in the 2018 summer, immediately when the schedule was released, the Lakers were immediately given the most national televised games to be seen and it was because of LeBron James. In the 2018-19 season, they had a total of 29 games. In the 2019 and 2020 season, they had 30 games. In 2021-2022, once again, the Lakers were at the top 
with 30 games. 2022-2023 gets even better with 39 national televised games. And in this past season, the Lakers had 28. It is clear and evident, the Lakers are a team the NBA makes money from and that's why they keep on pushing them in front of national television. Well, to say it correctly, I don't even want to say the Lakers make the NBA money, LeBron makes the NBA money. Even when looking at NBA followers, the NBA has 88.8 .8 million followers on Instagram. The Lakers have 24.7 million followers on Instagram. And now look at LeBron. LeBron has 160 million followers on Instagram. He has more followers than the NBA and the Lakers combined. That is why Jeannie Buss says LeBron is still a bargain to her because she believes that LeBron deserves to get paid more but the NBA won't allow it. In 2023, a statistic came out saying that the Lakers were the second most paid revenue teams in the league of $516 million and that was a stat only in 2023. In 2024, statistics have not been given out yet but when those numbers come out, watch the Lakers skyrocket to being the most paid team in the NBA. The fact that the Lakers brought back LeBron for two more years on a bargain deal are going to make them a lot more money. That's for sure, but also Bronny is also on the Lakers this season. Not only is the father on the squad, the son is on the squad. And with the first ever father and son duo in the NBA ever to play together on the same court, on the same team, watch the revenue skyrocket. Which goes into another conversation of why the Lakers drafted Bronny in the first place. It's because it was a bargain. It was a business move. NBA fans might be right saying that Bronny is not going to help the Lakers win a championship. You might be right about that, but it's definitely going to help them as an organization point of view. Genie Bus knows this. Rob Palenka knows this. LeBron knows this. And that's why the Lakers will do anything for LeBron. They'll draft his son. They'll give him the players that he wants. It's because the truth and reality is LeBron brings in more than what they can offer him. In the perspective of loyalty, that's why LeBron is not going to leave LA. All the trade rumors of him going, getting traded, is not going to happen. LeBron is happy in LA. In terms of a championship point of view, I think they could do better. But I hope now you understand why LeBron is no longer just an NBA player. He is a financial asset to the league, to the Lakers, and he's also a symbol and icon that we need to value now before he actually retires. But the Warriors are the number one team in the NBA that makes the most revenue and it's because of Stephen Curry. And I just made a video talking about the future of Stephen Curry in Golden State. You have to check out that video because some crazy stuff is happening. But other than that, take it easy, God bless, and I'll see you all next time on Easy Buckets.